Hello and welcome to my channel, Nicola Yoga. So we are on day five of our seven day challenge. So for flexibility and weight control. So today we're gonna to start in seated and we're gonna start with the flexibility, mobility in the shoulders. So we're gonna grow tall, shoulders pull back and down, tuck in the chin, just take a few grounding breaths here just to seal off our practice. And then from here we're going to ground the hands to the knees. We're going to inhale, gaze up, open the chest, shoulders pull back. Exhale, round as you ground down through the sit bones, pulling the belly bone back towards the spine. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, round it. Again, inhale, gaze up. Exhale, round it. Three more, following our own flow and pace of breath. From here we're going to raise the arms overhead, palms together, linking the hands together and bringing the hands back at the crease of the neck. Elbows stay wide, again inhale, gaze up, exhale, round in, when you round in we're not going to dump weight in the head, maybe bringing the hands off the head, elbows coming towards the, towards together and just rest in, relax the shoulders and feel the stretch again in the trapezius, shoulders, pulling the belly, belly button back towards the spine again, inhale, gaze up, open the heart, open the elbows, exhale, round in, three breaths. Inhale, gaze up, exhale, round in. Two more, inhale, back, so forward. Inhale, up. And this time when we fold, we're going to stay there for six rounds of breath. Slowly, slowly release the hands to the sides and slowly, slowly come back up. So we're going to bring the right hand to the crease of the right hip, maybe walking the hand out. Press down to the hand, reach the left arm up and then hand reaches over towards the right. So no more than a 45 degree position. Gaze under that left elbow, giving yourself an eye stretch to shoulders are back and down and breathe. And then from here we're going to gaze down towards the right hand, we're going to bring the left hand to the right knee, we're going to reach the right hand up and then over towards the left. So again you feel that on the other side. So we're going to gaze under that right elbow this time again, giving yourself an eye stretch here and breathe. So we're going to feel that in the shoulders and the thoracic spine. And exhale, slowly release, come back. We're going to swap over heels and repeat that on the other side. So left hand to the crease of the left hip, walk the fingers out, inhale, raise the right hand up and then exhale, 
elbow over towards the left. Again, no deeper than a 45 degree position. Gaze under that right elbow this time. And breathe. Again, I stretch on this side. So you feel that stretch in the shoulder, right side of the body, right side of the chest and waist. And breathe. Inhale, gaze down towards that left hand, bring the right hand to the left knee, reach that left arm up and then over towards the right. Again, gaze under that left elbow and breathe, shoulder stay back and down. And slowly unwind, reach the hands up. Exhale as we press the hands down, keeping engaged through both sit bones, slowly, slowly reach the hands forward, so as far as your body will allow you to go. Press into the earth, hands are shoulder distance apart, and breathe. Shoulders pull back and down. Now from here we're either going to roll over the knees slowly, 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 or swing the legs around coming into our first cat and cow. So building on what we did yesterday, so we're gonna do a modified cat and cow. So knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders, shoulder distance apart or wider if you have shoulder issues. Four finger points to 12 o'clock. Cow fingers, feeling the pads of the fingertips and knuckles of the palms of the hand. So inhale, take the right heel back. Heel is level with the hip, maybe checking that out as you gaze back. If you want to add the arms, take the right hand forwards, press into that, sorry, left hand forwards, press into the right hand, shoulders pull back, core engagement here. Exhale, knee in towards the elbow, and kick it back. Knee to the elbow, kick it back. Knee to the elbow, round in and kick back, three more. And on the last one, we're gonna hold, flex the foot, shoulders pull back, press into that right hand. Five, four, three, two, and one. Press the hand down, press the knee down, and shake out those hips and shoulders. And then we're going to repeat that on the other side. So left heel kicks back, level with the hips, and reach the right hand forwards. If you want to add the arm, neck stays in line with the spine, pressing into the left hand, and then elbow towards the knee, kick it back. Elbow to knee, kick it back, round in. And three more, following your own flow and pace of breath. Then on the last one, we're going to hold, reach out, flex the foot, shoulders pull back, from neck in line with the spine, breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Float the hand down, float the knee down, and dance out the hips and shoulders. And then from here, we're going to curl under the toes, push into the hands, lift the hips up. Keep on a micro bend in the knees. Inhale, gaze forwards, bend the knees deeply, step, walk or jump through Uttanasana, fold in. Inhale, flat back, keep a micro bend in the knees. Neck extends long, shoulders pull back and down, gauge the glutes. Exhale, release. Inhale, reverse dive, coming all the way up, and down through heart center. Now when we're into Dasana, this is a resting pose, so if at any time you need to rest, feel free to rest in this pose, child's pose, Shavasana, down dog, whatever you wish. So listen to your body. Inhale, rise up, exhale, bow down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release, plant the hands down, step back through the dog. 
may you take in a vinyasa to your baby cobra, full cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, bend the knees deeply, step or quad jump. Do the tanasana, fold in. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, reverse dive, coming all the way up to maybe a slight back bend this time. Engage the glutes and press back. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release, plant down, step back through the dog. Again, take a vinyasa, knees, chest and chin, or full vinyasa. Your choice of the back bend, back to down dog. Again, pedal out the feet. Nice full body stretch here. Taking a break whenever you need. Inhale, bend the knees deeply, step or cool jump. Tanasana, fold in. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise up. Slight back bend. Exhale, heart center. Tadasana, namaskar. Now we're going to start with some flexibility. Strengthening the knees. Coming into chair. So I used to absolutely hate this pose. However, it's one that I actually love now. So as normally if you hate something, I know that's a harsh word, however, generally speaking, it's the pose you need to work on. So anyway, engage through the heels, start to sit back into that lovely uncomfortable or uncomfortable chair. Ideally, knees are above the ankles, neck extends long, not dumping the head, hands to heart center. Now if you want to make it more intense, you can raise the hands arms level with the ears, the necks in line with the spine, breathe. So again, working on that core engagement. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, come back to the chair, whatever arm position you would prefer. Shoulders pull back, neck extends long, gaze through the glutes. Breathe. Exhale, fold in. Nod the head, Jess. Shake the head now. Inhale, flat back. Don't forget to micro bend the knees. Neck extends long. Shoulders pull back and down. Engage the glutes, protecting the lower back. Exhale, release. You may want to bring the big toes together. Heels about two inches apart. And then inhale, come back to that chair. Utkatasana. Again, neck in line with the spine, feel that core engagement here. Engage the glutes, pressing the knees together, shoulders pull back and down, breathe. I'm going to stay for a few more breaths this time, five breaths. And slowly float back down. Step back through the dog. We come forwards to plank, holding the plank here, coming wide in that front of the chest, shoulders pull back, engagement through the core, again from here you can come down to the knees if you wish, neck stays in line with the spine, feel that core engagement here, breathe. Maybe making it organic, maybe come up onto the tippy toes and just rocking backwards and forwards. Feel that core engagement here. And then slowly come down through knees, chest and chin. Inhale, baby cobra, full cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale through, downward facing dog. Inhale, take the right foot up, draw a line with the toe. Bend into the left knee. Inhale, knee towards the nose. Step up between the hands to frame the foot. Pivot on that back foot to a 90 degree position. Bending into that right knee as you come for rotation with the arms. Setting up. Warrior two. Breathe. 
hips to the sides, engagement in the inner thighs to protect the knees, arms reach out long, check out the hands, relax the shoulders, maybe go deeper, remind the knee does not protrude the ankle, press into the front and back heel, toe mounds, breathe, inhale, flip the hand, take the left hand down the leg, reverse warrior, or peaceful warrior, Exhale, back up and extended side angle. So, lower arm to the thigh, not dumping weight. Reach that left hand up or over towards that 45 degree angle. Now feel that nice straight line you're creating with the, the head, the hand down to the back edge of that left heel. Breathe. Inhale, back up, peaceful warrior. Now on the second one, as we've warmed up, you may want to take the left hand to the crease of the right hip. Breathing here. Slowly, slowly come back through extended side angle. Now this time you might want to bring a block down and just reach the right hand up or again over. Bend into that right knee Shoulders are back and down. Again, feel that nice straight line from the hand to the outside edge of that baby toe on the left. Neck extends long, not dumping your head to engage the core. Again, inhale back up. Exhale, fold. Maybe if you don't need the block, bringing your hand down to the earth and then reach up and over. Again, engagement in the core here. Breathe. Now this is quite deep, so listen to your body. Slowly, slowly unwind, come back up. Pivot on that right foot. Come back to that star shape, reset the body. Breathe. And slowly, slowly reach the hands back to the hips. Pivot on the left foot. Right foot is at a 90 degree posi position this time, and then back to warrior two. Nice bend in that left knee, engage the inner thighs to protect the knees, hips to the side. Checking out the hands, level with the shoulders, relax the shoulders, breathe. And then flip that left hand, reach forwards and back to peaceful warrior. Extended side angle, lower arm, down towards the thigh, reach the right arm over, no further than that 45 degree angle, neck extends long to engage the core, not dumping the head, and again feel that straight line from the right hand to the edge of the baby toe on that right side, breathe, inhale back up, peaceful warrior, maybe bringing the right hand to the crease of the left hip this time, opening shoes, inhale, Coming back to extended side angle. Uttita, pause for Konasana. Grinding down to the block, maybe. Breathe. Coming back to reverse warrior. And then maybe the next one, bringing the hand down to the earth. Again, if only if that's available to you, not forcing. Breathe. Feel like your knee is pushing in against your arm here. And slowly bring the right hand down to frame the foot. Pivot on that right foot. And then step the left foot to meet the right. Walking the dog. Releasing the stretch. Maybe a vinyasa. Your choice. Exhale, down facing dog. Breathe. Slow walk up to meet the hands. And oh, we're going to stay halfway this time. Set the left foot in front, in between the hands. And then fold into Paswatanasana or A lovely 
side stretch here. You might go bend the knees if you need, or you can be at a flat back, or even you can use a block to keep that flat back and neck extends long, whatever works for you. Just encourage flexibility in the hamstrings. And then inhale, come back up, fold in, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Uh, so release, step the left foot back this time. Again, it doesn't have to be a wide stance. We're in an extended side stretch. Uh, so as you fold the head towards the knee, again, come up onto a block if you wish. And halfway hold, whatever works for you. Again, micro bend in those knees, listen to your body. Breathe. And exhale, fold back in. To that forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release, step back. From here, we're going to hold the plank for five, four, three, two and one bring the left knee down grinding down through the left hand float the right foot to the earth and raise the right hand up so knee down side plank if you want to go deeper you can take the right foot flex level with the hip or if you want to go deeper again bring the right foot down and step the left foot behind the right heel Side plank. Breathe. And slowly, slowly come back through plank, back to the dog. And then we're just going to repeat that on the other side. So right knee comes down this time, ground down through the right hand. And then float the left foot down, raising the left hand up, knee down, side plank. Or again, if you want to go deeper, you can raise the left <coughs> foot up, flexed, level with the hip. Or if you want to go deeper again, bring that left foot down and step the right foot behind the left hip. Engaging core and breathe. <coughs> Slowly, slowly bring the left hand down and float back to the door. Pedal it out if you wish. And slow walk up to meet the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Slowly, slowly unwind. As you just rest with your fingertips on the earth, head is heavy, shoulders are heavy. And just swing those arms from side to side. It's like you're really allowing the arms and the shoulders to release. This really encourages flexibility. Slowly, slowly come up like a ragdoll as you engage through the legs, micro bend the knees. Engagement in the core, tap the pelvis. Slowly, slowly, slowly unwind. And coming up to our lovely standing mountain. So from here we're going to come into a little bit of balancing. <clears throat> so we're going to come into tree pose first. So spread out the toes. Plant them down. Engaging through the Achilles and the arch support. And then from here you can either come on to the big toe, hands at the hips. Row tall, tuck in the chin. Gaze about four or five feet ahead, setting up your drishti. Or you can come onto the sole of the foot, heel to the middle of the calf, nowhere near the knee, so we do not want to kick out the knee. Micro bend that left knee, or maybe bringing the foot to the thigh. Inhale, raising your branches, brick sasana. Maybe trying a little bit more intense, you can either stay here or bring the 
Right hand down towards the thigh or the knee. We reach the left hand up and just slight arch over towards the right. Maybe that right hand sits on that right knee now. Breathe. Slowly, slowly come back up. Release the arms, release the legs, and shake it out. Other side, so spread out the toes, plant down, engage in the Achilles and arch the port on that right side this time. Engage the muscles of the leg, you might go bend that right knee, same thing, hands to the hips, set up your drishti, your gaze, four or five feet ahead, shoulders pull back, grow tall, big toe to the earth, sole of the foot to the earth, heel to the middle of the calf, nowhere near the knee, or heel to the inner thigh. Micro bend that right knee. Again, you can stay here, raising your branches, Vrikshasana or tree pose, or maybe floating the left hand down to the thigh of the knee, reach the right hand up, and then slightly over towards the left. And if you fall out, just like the yoga teacher just did, that's okay, that's how we learn to balance. Breathe. Slowly, 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 come back up, shake it out, and we're just going to flow that through with the vinyasa. Inhale, rise up, exhale, bow down. Inhale, flat back, exhale, step, walk or jump back through dog. Take a vinyasa over your choice, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, as you bend the knees deeply, gaze forward, step, walk or jump. To Uttanasana, forward fold, fold in. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. So we're going to do one more balancing. So from here, maybe bringing a block to the left side. We're going to inhale as we engage the muscles of the left leg, ground down to the block, raising the left foot up. Maybe hand to the hip. Gaze is forward, so neck extends long, flexing the foot, warrior three. With assistance on the block. Now, if you want to go deeper, maybe coming off the block, reach the hands back. Breathe. And then slowly, slowly step back. Pivot on the left foot, pivot on the right. Step back to our forward fold, fold in. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Now this time we're going to bring the block to the right side. In front of that right big toe. And then as you engage through the block, engage through the right leg and raising the left heel up. Maybe level with the hip. Hand comes to the hip, keeping the hip square, flexing the foot, and breathe. And again, if you want to go deeper, reach the hands back, coming off the block. Virabhadrasana 3, or Warrior 3. And slowly step back, pivot on the right foot this time, and breathe. Reach the hands up to that star shape. As we reset the body, tuck the pelvis. And then slowly, slowly, slowly coming down, keeping the arms wide, micro bend the knees, and fold into that lovely wide angle forward fold. And then just heel toe, heel toe the feet together. Coming back down to that yogi squat. Palms together at heart center. Pressing your thumbs against your sternum as you press the thighs against the elbows. Elbows push out. So feeling that push and pull that we're creating here with the body, the yin and the yang. Breathe. 
and then slowly, slowly bring the hands behind the hips. I'm going to do a little bit more core work before we come into our final pose. So first one, we're going to come into boat pose. So nice 90 degree angle with the legs, engage through the sit bones, reach the hands forwards, and then maybe coming up to boat two. Breathing here, feel that engagement in the core, as you feel that V shape you're creating with the thighs and the body here. Reach forward, shoulders the back, tuck in the chin, maybe float the legs up to, to boat three, Navasana, breathe. Float the legs back there. From here, we're either going to go into reverse tabletop or reverse plank. So if we're in reverse tabletop, feet are hip distance apart, 90 degree angle with the legs, hands six inches behind the hips. Micro bend the elbows, you open the chest, tuck the pelvis and lift up, tucking the chin. Now, if you want to go into reverse plank, straighten out one leg, then the other. Micro bend in the knees, maybe the toes touch the earth, maybe not. If you have good rotation in the neck and the shoulders, you can allow the head to drop back. Breathe. And slowly, slowly come back then. Hug the knees in towards the chest and give yourself a little hug. Grow tall. And then we're going to come back to the boat. Whichever one works for you. Float back down. Reverse plank or reverse tabletop. Your choice. Slowly come back down. Come back to the boat. And then last, tabletop or reverse plank. Your choice. And slowly, slowly come down. Again, hug the knees in towards the chest. Grow tall. Giving yourself a little hug. And then slowly from here, we're just going to rock and roll onto the spine, maybe about six rotations. And we come up and engage the core, so your toes ideally don't touch the earth, but if you're not, okay, not there, that's okay too. And then slowly, slowly, slowly come down. We're going to come back through bridge before finishing our practice. So heels in towards the glutes, Hands plant down, tuck the pelvis, lift the hips up. Breathe, just releasing the spine. Releasing the core. Slow down the breath, exhale, slowly come down one bird at a time. Inhale, engage the glutes, tuck the pelvis, engage the thighs, lift back up, heavy in the heels, maybe curling up the toes this time. Breathe. Exhale back then. One more. Inhale back up. Holding here. Squeeze the thighs. Feel like you're holding a block in between the thighs here. Exhale, come back down. Keeping the left here where it is. Step the right foot over the left thigh. And then we're going to allow the leg to cross all the way over, take the hips over towards the right slightly. As the arms come back to cactus, allow the knees to fall over towards the left as you gaze over towards that right elbow. Breathing here. Slowing down the breath. back up, gaze up, uncross the legs and bring the hips back to centre, cross the left foot over the right thigh and 
and then allow the leg to cross all the way over, hips slightly come over towards the left, as you gaze over towards the left elbow and knees fall over towards the right. Sleeping twist pose, Subtapadrasana, breathe. Come back to center, feet come together, knees apart, coming into supine butterfly as you bring your shoulders away from the ears, arms away from the body, palms facing up and open to receive. Now if you need you can place two blocks underneath the thighs to give your knees a little bit more gentleness here. Breathing in, breathing out. Allow the body to soften and let go as we come into silence and resetting the body. small circles with the knees, massaging out the sacral spine and then maybe circling the other way. And maybe circling. And then slowly roll over onto one side, one arm overhead as you rest with your head on your upper arm, and the other hand in front of the heart. Taking a few breaths here. Slowly straighten out the top leg and come back to that nice, easy seat position at the front of your mat to seal off your practice. And breathe. Grow tall. Shoulders pull back. Tuck in the chin. Crown up towards the sky. Coming into prayer. Hands to heart center, namaskar. And Anjali Nudra, press the hands together. Just feel the energy you're creating with the palms of your hands. Breathing here for a few moments. Tucking the chin, coming into prayer. May you be healthy. May you be happy. May you be free. May you awaken to the light of your one true nature. Namaste. Thank you everyone for sharing in my practice today. I hope you enjoyed this flow. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like this particular video and let me know in the comments section how this went for you. How did you find the chair pose or the planks? Are you struggling with that? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. It helps me to design future content. And if you haven't hit subscribe already, what are you waiting for? Hit it now, please. Okay, thanks everyone. See you tomorrow. Namaste.